Are you learning how to crawl? <gasps> what was that? Did you just fart? Hey guys, so I haven't vlogged in a while. Um, today is Friday, September 16th. So two more days and it's my birthday. My birthday is Sunday, September 18th. I'm gonna be 29 years old. I can't even believe it. Like one more year till 30. It's just crazy. It's crazy how fast life goes by. I can't believe I'm almost <laughs> going to be 30. I mean in a year, but 30. It's crazy. I, I feel like it was only yesterday that I was like 18. I'm actually watching the OC. Um, I've, just, ooh, I've decided to start it uh, from the beginning. I haven't seen the OC since it was like you know, airing back, what, 15 years ago or so. Um, and so I decided that I'd watch it again because I loved that show. That was like one of my favorite shows. And actually, Alex watched it too at the time. We didn't know each other, but he was a fan of The O.C. I mean, who wasn't? Like, The O.C. was such a good show. So anyway, I'm watching The O.C., so let me pause that. Um, I need to get a new computer. Um, I've had some people reaching out and messaging me and saying, you know, asking if I'm done with YouTube, asking where I've been, why I haven't posted a video in a few weeks. I think it's been like two weeks. And I'm not done with YouTube. It's only the beginning. I'm just getting started. I really want to post so much more. I at least want to have one video a week. I would love to get out, you know, two to three videos a week. You know, it is hard with a little baby. I'm constantly paying attention to him and doing things for him. So it is hard to edit and get everything up as fast as I can or as much as I would like to, but I'm going to do it. I just need a new computer. So right now I'm using this computer back here. Um, it's like one of Alex's extra laptops that he had because I don't even own a laptop at this point. So I was just using this one. He's got a couple of them for work and he gave me one. And it's just like a Dell. Is it a Dell? No, it's like an HP. It's so slow. Um, I'm using Movie Maker right now, just like the program that comes with a computer. Super slow. Doesn't really have many like editing, um, like cool editing things that I can do. So that's why my videos are pretty like plain with the editing. Like I don't really have crazy editing skills. And I'm trying to learn more about editing, but the program that I use, which is Movie Maker, isn't great. Plus I think it's an old version of it. So I really want to use iMovie, which is a pretty good editing program, and it's free with your, you know, Mac computer. Um, so I think I'm going to get an iMac, which I think is the desktop Mac, or the MacBook, which is the laptop. Um, if you guys could leave below what you think I should get. So I guess it just depends, like, on mobility. You know, if I'm going to go out a lot of places or travel or whatever, move from room to room, then obviously I want to do the laptop. But knowing me, I like to sit down and edit and like not be interrupted. I like to sit at a desk. I do edit from my couch a lot when I'm watching cam, but it just, I've realized that it takes me a while to, to get things done and to edit because I just keep getting interrupted. I'm not comfortable on the couch. I hate that I don't have a mouse because I'm using a laptop and I don't have it, you know, on the table. I'm using it on the couch, so I don't have my mouse on it. It just takes me a while. I feel like if I had a desk set up with, you know, a desktop computer and I had my mouse and all that, I think that it would be much easier for me to edit and I could get videos out more frequently. So I'm thinking that I want to go with the iMac. What is that noise? Oh my God. <gasps> I forgot. Oh my god. I wonder if I can use this. Oh, that's probably okay. Oh my god, I almost burned the whole house down. I literally almost burned the whole house down like a few days ago. I put or a tortilla in the um, toaster oven right there. And I guess there was like a lot of air in it or something. It literally expanded so high that the tortilla started touching like the top burner and it like expanded and then it like blew up into flames. I was on the phone with Sprint. Um, I was trying to like pre-order the iPhone that day and I was on the phone forever with this guy. And I, look, I was making eggs and I look over the toaster oven and it's literally caught on fire. Like there's a huge fire in the toaster oven and I'm not exaggerating. It wasn't a few sparks. It was like a full out fire. Of course, Cam is sleeping in his swing and I start like hyperventilating. Like I'm like, 
like, what do I do? Oh my god, I'm freaking out. And the first thing that comes to mind, literally, like, this is the first thing that came to mind is to go get a glass of water and throw it in there to stop the fire. I didn't realize that the, I didn't unplug the toaster oven, so I threw a fi I threw a glass of water into an electric toaster oven that was on. When I told Alex this, he was like, are you kidding me? Like, I could have electrocuted myself really badly. I didn't, because I stood far away and kind of just threw it in far away. Um, and I didn't even break the toaster oven, <laughs> so it still works. But anyway, next time I know to unplug first, and then I can throw the water in there. I also have a fire extinguisher. This breast milk is fine. <laughs> I just forgot it was on the stove, because I was talking to you guys. You guys are getting me in trouble. your head <laughs> it's a little too big for your head but it'll fit soon and your shirt's really cute mommy's little man you are my little man you're my little man did you know that did you know that you're my little man I like your hat you're too cool for school let's try it the other way Look at you! Oh, the hair's in your face. We gotta fix that, honey bear. What do you, <laughs> what do you think? My mommy's gotta fix her hair. What do you think about your hat, honey? I think it looks pretty good. I think the ladies are gonna be all over you. I might have to take that off. You might not be allowed to wear the hat. Mm-mm. Look, five. five, one, and look, watch. Hello? Oh, oh, she's hitting on you. Did you hear what she said? She's calling you a cutie pie. You better tell her you're taken. You better tell her you're mommy's little man. Say, sorry, I'm taken. Go find yourself another little man. Hey, honey. Do you like your new play mat? <gasps> Whoa! Can you get him? Reach. No? Oh! Uh oh! He fell! You gonna help him up? You got crazy hair today! It's very, it's very crazy. What are we going to do? What are we going to do about your hair? Honey, did you turn five months old yesterday? You did? No, two days ago. You turned five months old two days ago. Wow. You're really getting to be a big boy, honey. Don't you think? Look at your play mat that Grammy and Poppy got you. Wow. It's so big. You're so little. So I just made a little breakfast. I um, have some toast here with avocado, olive oil, lemon, salt and pepper. So good. And I think I'm gonna do a little online shopping here because I plan to do a fall clothing haul and try on for you guys. So I'm about to do some, some damage on the internet and eat my breakfast and finish my coffee. And smell the most amazing candle ever. You love Blake Shelton? Do you love Blake Shelton? Let's let's show YouTube how you love Blake. Full voice made up for that plus some. Um, you heard the crowd. They went nuts every time you did one of those. You, you did a bin. Sometimes 
bins are controversial with us coaches. It's like, why are you doing that? But you're you like playing. You know, I just realized you're doing that as a little flavor to the performance and not. Okay, you guys, it's like 7 p.m. Cam is taking a little nap in the other room, and I wanted to go ahead and switch out my diaper bag for fall because I have that like really pretty like tan leather diaper bag that my cousin got me and it'll be perfect for fall and I'm kind of sick of my black Kate Spade one and I'm ready to use a different diaper bag so I'm gonna go ahead and get it out. So, oh my god it smells so good, it smells like leather. So this is the diaper bag that I'm gonna be switching to for the fall and it has like this front pocket here. I'm gonna take this stuff out. And then, so you can put like your phone in there, like wallet, whatever. And then, back is just plain. It's got like some pockets in the back here and here. And then the inside looks like this. It's just got like brown, kind of like a pretty like reddish brown nylon and then here's the changing pad comes inside and then it's got this little like tan canvasy strap you can add to it which I definitely will because I always have those strap it's got an inside pocket here you put like stuff in there and then it's got these pockets right here you can see like these like elasticy, stretchy pockets. So it's got like a big one that I can put diapers in, and then a smaller one next to it that I can probably stick the wipes in. Yeah, so cute. It's literally the perfect bag for fall, and I'm gonna use this as a purse as well. today to hang out and see Cam because they haven't seen him in a little bit. So that'll be fun. I actually might run up to Target. Um, I need a few things. I've been needing for a while. I have like a list on my phone and I really need to go to Target. So I'm not sure if they're going to come and I'm going to bring the baby or they'll just stay here with him and I'll run up there by myself. I'm not sure, but it's pretty nasty outside. It's been raining. There's a flash flood warning, which sucks. And it's National Coffee Day today. I have an espresso machine my mother-in-law bought for me like three years ago, I think, um, as like an engagement gift or a housewarming gift or something, I don't really remember. I think a housewarming gift. And I never really knew how to use it. Like I would use it every once in a while, but I just never really got into it because it's like, it's not just coffee. It can like make a foam to put on top of it. It's really cool. Um, and I would only use it once in a while, but lately, like I think the past four to five months I've really gotten into like drinking coffee every day I think ever since I had cam and I like need to be awake and I'm so tired I'm like okay let me just make a cup of coffee and hopefully it'll help and it's it's helped so um I can show you guys how I make it it's a really cool machine I put almond milk in the foam part and um and it makes like a like a foam that I pour on top of. I guess essentially it's a cappuccino that's what I needed to call it it's a cappuccino I think Anyway, it's pretty good. She got me all of these little like pods to go with it. They're all different flavors, so I'm stocked up for a while. Um, 
So yeah, it's National Coffee Day, so I'm drinking my cappuccino. I'm probably gonna have another one a little bit later. This little man is trying so hard to crawl. Honey, you're supposed to be on your knees, not your feet. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the update right now. Mom and Grandma are leaving and they're on their way. It takes them about 30 minutes to get to my house. Might make some grilled cheese for lunch because it's rainy outside and I always want like grilled cheese and tomato soup when it's like rainy and dreary and dark outside. But I don't really have anything to make it so I might go up to the store to make some. I don't know. So, oh my god, this hair. I can't. So I just cleaned up my house a little bit because my grandma and mom are on their way. I got pan dressed. He's wearing a really cute little outfit. He's wearing these little blue sweatpants that my friend Brittany got him and this little um, penguin long sleeve top from Gap. And there's little buttons on the front. It's really cute. You want to show up? <laughs> what are you doing, honey? What are you doing? Don't be tardies on. I love that family. Like... If I could join another family besides my own, it would be that family because they're so hilarious. I just love Kim. I love Croy. I love Brielle. I love all of them. I think they're so funny and they always look like they're having such a blast and such a good time. I would fit right in with that family. I'm telling you guys. I would fit right in. Oh my God. So our neighbors across the street have like the cutest little pumpkins out and some like yellow and orange flowers they've decorated for fall and I really want to do that but then again it's like I don't want to use the money no one really sees my house I don't really have many people over so it's like and it's on the outside so I can't even see it <laughs> so I'm like eh, do I really want to decorate the outside and this year I don't even really think I'm decorating the inside I know that I said on snapchat I think that I was going to decorate for fall because I do every year but my house is so cluttered with baby stuff right now like literally we need to move we need a bigger house it is so cluttered with baby stuff where it's, that it's like it's pointless to decorate because there's not even like there's nowhere I can even put my decorations this year. <clears throat> so um, I think I'm going to wait until we move into a bigger place to decorate for holidays just because I just I don't really think there's any room. bunch of Camden's laundry that I need to fold and this is his humidifier train I think I show this in like my baby shower haul but I put it on last night because he does have a cold I think or I think at least he's coming down with one so I put his little train on and hopefully that helped him a little bit in the corner over there has like diapers stacked on top of it because I have not switched out the trash bag in there yet. I need to do that like right when I'm finished doing this if Cam is still asleep. But I really like that diaper pail though. I know they have like a more expensive like Ubi one or U is it Ubi? I don't know something like that and I actually was gonna get that one. Well I was gonna put that on my registry before I put my diaper genie on there and then I figured like $80 for a diaper pail, really? Like, it's a like you keep poop in there. Like, why do you need an expensive place to store your baby's poop, you know? It just didn't make sense to me, so I was like, no, I'm putting the diaper genie on it. <laughs> like, that'll be fine. It's, like, essentially the same thing. I don't even really know what the difference is. Maybe just, like, the design of it? I don't know, but I'm perfectly happy with my diaper genie. I think it works well and takes care of business. Um, and the diapers that I have stacked up on there right now, um, where does this go? They don't have poop in them, so don't worry. It's not like I'm smelling up his room. Like, it's just, it's just pee. 
and I have them wrapped really well so they don't they don't smell but I just haven't had time to like take out that bag and put a new one you know pull a new one down and do that whole thing and honestly I've kind of forgotten to do it <laughs> when I did have when I do have time so um, this goes here I love these. Aren't these the cutest little sweatpants? A lot of you guys have asked where I got these from. These are from Baby Gap. And I actually got these when I was pregnant with Cam. I got them um, over Thanksgiving. I went to the outlets and I got these for like a great deal. They were on sale and they're so cute. And like he can just fit into them like now. Actually, he's kind of growing out of them. But um, I think they're three to six. Yeah, they're three to six months. And they're like velour. They're so cute. But I'm telling you guys, like H&M and Zara and Old Navy. But especially H&M and Zara cutest baby clothes you will find for reasonable prices like obviously they have like adorable children's and baby boutiques all over the place online but the stuff is just so expensive and then plus you've got to pay for shipping so it's like eh but if you go online if you you can shop online at H&M and Zara too but I like to go into the stores um and online but I like free shipping well I don't like to pay for shipping so I usually go into the store or I buy enough that I get free shipping is what I'm trying to say so, um, but they, their stuff isn't too expensive. Like sometimes like Zara's baby stuff can get a little pricey here and there. Um, but it's, it's just the cutest things that I'm like, eh, I justify it for myself because it's so cute. And plus I want to take pictures of Cam in cute outfits and post it for you guys. And I don't know. It's fun to dress him up. It's like something fun to do. And I also do shop at Carter's a lot. I'm not going to lie. I do. And I know it's very like basic clothing that so many people have for their babies because it's so popular. But they do have really cute um, clothes, and they're really good deals. Like, Carter's is always having, like, 40%, 50% off sales, even 75% sometimes. Plus, I have, like, the rewards card, so um, that, like, stacks up my points, and then I get money off. Um, but they have really good, like, sets. Like, I like getting, like, their little, like, pants like this with, like, a little animal or whatever on the butt. And then they have, like, they come with, like, a couple onesies. And it's just nice, like, loungewear for him when I'm not trying to dress him up to look, like, super cute. Like, if I'm not taking him out. Because most days, let's be honest, we're in the house just chilling. Um, so I just want him comfortable. And so I get, I do get a few outfits from Carter's. And I'll put him in those um, when we're just like in the house. And then if we go out, I'll dress him up in the cuter outfits. Like this is from Carter's. It says bear hugs, please. And it's just a cute little onesie. Like they have very basic onesies. If I want to get onesies, I get them from Carter's. Wow. <laughs> chili. I've been making this for years now. Alex absolutely loves it. I also make beef chili. I have my mom's recipe. Well, I actually don't know where it is, but my mom makes the most amazing beef chili, but Alex really likes turkey chili. So I've been making this for a few years. It's really, really good. And I just thought that I would vlog this. Um, so you guys can see how I do it. Right, honey bear? Um, so yeah, it's Sunday. It's been so rainy all weekend. Actually, right now it's pretty nice out. It cleared up a little bit, but it's been so rainy and like dreary outside that I figured it is the perfect time to make some chili. You know, it's fall. It's rainy. It's a Sunday. It's chili time. I'm going to go ahead and make it and I have my little helper here. I need to put him down. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys, but I did get a pack and play. So he likes it for, um, maybe 15 minutes. <laughs> Um, I need to get him used to it because we are going away for Thanksgiving, which we do every year, and that's what I'm going to have to bring for him to sleep in. So you've got to get used to that, buddy. you got to get used to it. I'm sorry. Ah! So, yeah. He's so bald in the back. You're so bald in the back. Do you know that? To start this chili cooking off right, we are going to have a pumpkin beer and light a pumpkin candle. I'm so basic, right? So 
go. Oh, woo! Oh my God, I'm gonna blow off my eyelashes. So the pumpkin candle that we're gonna light is this We Love the Pumpkin. It's a trio. I got it last year and I haven't lit it yet, but it is creamy pumpkin, roasted pumpkin butter, and sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And you can see like the three layers right there. So let's go ahead and light this baby. And then I am having this pumpkin ale beer. It's really, really good. It tastes like a pumpkin pie. I think I've talked about this before, um, probably on my Snapchat, but, but it's so good. So I have my um, turkey chili recipe right here that I've used for years. And first things first, we're gonna chop up an onion and then we're going to mince five cloves of garlic. So we have minced the garlic, five cloves of garlic minced. And we have chopped up one onion, a yellow onion. Well, I actually think this is a Vidalia onion, but whatever. And now I'm taking a big pot and I'm going to drizzle some olive oil in it. And then I'm going to saute the garlic and onion until fragrant. So now we are just sauteing the onion and the garlic about three minutes. And we drizzled some olive oil first. All right, then we add our two pounds of fat-free ground turkey, and you pretty much just want to have it like crumbled up and browned. And you're supposed to drain any excess fat, which there shouldn't be much in this because I think this is like 99% fat-free. So we're just going to cook that up, and you add it to the onions and the, uh, the garlic. Hello there! Hi, baby blue! <laughs> So, while the ground turkey is browning, you just want to keep stirring it around, you go ahead and you chop up one red bell pepper, one green bell pepper, and two jalapenos. Now that the turkey is browned, you go ahead and you add your chopped green pepper, red pepper, and jalapenos. This is going to be really hard to film. There we go. All right. And then you go ahead and add the rest of your ingredients, which is one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Right here. 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. And one 15 ounce can of petite diced tomatoes. This is a 14.5 ounce can, but same difference, right? Okay, let me add this. Ah! Oh my god, that splashed all over the place. Woo! All right. And then you do one 15 ounce can of kidney beans. This is a 15.5. This is the light red kidney beans. It doesn't really say what color. I just figured light red would look better with the turkey. And dark red probably looks better with like meat. Three tablespoons of tomato paste. So I have my tomato paste right here. I don't even know if I'm getting this. I'm like holding this with my chin. Okay, so. One. Two. Three, and it doesn't have to be like perfect, you guys. It's good. A half a teaspoon of hot sauce. All right, half a teaspoon of hot sauce. Just grinding in some pepper. So, some sugar. One tablespoon of chili powder. Two. Three. Right, two teaspoons of oregano, one, two. Okay, and then once you mix everything together, you put the lid on and you let it simmer on um, 
medium low for about an hour. And then I top it with some, like a dollop of Greek yogurt, not sour cream, because Greek yogurt is more, um, is healthier for you and it tastes just the same in my opinion. I put some cheddar, shredded cheddar cheese and, and then I have to, I know this isn't healthy and I'm talking about being healthy, but I do put like some Fritos in there because they're so good. And sometimes I will make some cornbread with it. Tonight I didn't do the cornbread, but cornbread is also amazing with chili if you didn't know. And that's it. That is the turkey chili recipe. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little um, recipe tutorial for you. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. It is Sunday night. It is like almost 9 o'clock at this point. And Alex should be home soon from work. Yes, he does work on the weekends. I know. He's a workaholic. I know. He should be home soon. i got to put the little one to bed. Hopefully he'll go to bed. And we'll probably just eat some chili and watch like a movie or something. But I'm going to end it here. And thank you guys for watching my vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And... 